This is recursion 1, count ABC. Count recursively the total number of ABC and ABA substrings that appear in the given string. So let's go over the sample cases first. So first there is ABC. This will of course return 1 because there is one occurrence of ABC. Similarly here there is ABC here and ABC here, so this will return 2. And here there is ABA here and ABA here, so this will return 2 again. Okay, so um, also note that it's just a total number of ABC and ABA substrings. So we have to count the total occurrences of both substrings, not just either, um, despite what it may seem like based on the sample cases. So um, let's go over our own case and see how a program may work recursively, of course. So here there is ABC, A, 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 B, A. So um, what we will be doing is essentially iterating through the array and counting the occurrences of ABC and ABA substrings. Okay, so first there is ABC, A, A, B, A. So we will get the first three characters, which is A, B, C. Um, this is, of course, A, B, C. So we'll add one to the count, um, the total count, and then we will iterate forward. Next, there is B, C, A, 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 B, A. Um, we get the first three characters, that is B, C, A. Of course, BCA is neither ABC or ABA, therefore we will add zero to the count, and we will continue forward. Next, there is CAAABA. Um, again, CAA is not ABC or ABA, so we will add zero and continue. Um, the next steps are just based, are similar to the previous steps, so I'll just write them down, um, like how they would progress. Okay, so finally there is ABA. ABA is of course um, one of the substrings that we are looking for, so we add one to the frequency, and then we continue forward with BA. And BA is a substring that is less, um, that is length less than three, and of course the substrings that are we, we are looking for are both length three. Therefore, if it's less than length three, we know it is not that. Therefore, we can just return zero. Okay, so let's implement that. So first. Um, we will go with the base case. The base case is, of course, if the length of the string is less than three, then we will just return zero. Else, we will get the first three characters of the string. If the first three characters equals A, B, C, or it equals A, B, A, we will return one, um, add one to the count, and then we will continue forward with the rest of the string. Else, we will just um, not add anything to the count, and then continue forward with the rest of the string. And this seems to work. 